Loaded for bear. So to speak. Yes. Okay. Now today we are going to try the lower half or lower two-fifths of the South Fork Trail. See if we can connect up to where we were last time. And we are currently at the junction of most of the High Desert National Recreation Trail system with the Manzanita Trail that goes off in that direction to Vincent Gap, the South Fork Trail that goes up to Islip Saddle, where we're planning to go, and the Punchbowl Trail that goes off to the Devil's Punch Bowl in that direction. So, off we go. Well, we are now actually starting into the South Fork Canyon. So it's starting to look like the bottom half of where we were before. Now, this is one of the places I'm a trifle concerned about because I have to find where the trail switches from the east side of the valley to the west. According to CA Hiker, it is the first water crossing, and this looks like it. So let's go. Well, you can see they're trying to do some maintenance on the trail, but as I had been warned, the trail at the south end here is in rather rough condition. Well, we are in the rugged part of the canyon now. We are still deep in the really twisty part of the canyon down at the bottom. And then a little bit of fall color down in the creek bed. Way right down there. And the trail is just going in and out. Uh, the same kind of folds you see on the other side. And we are in those same folds on this side. So we are just twisting and turning our way up the side of the canyon.
another look at the canyon, including a little sort of slide area here. And the creek bed, dry creek down there. Play with trees. And more rocks up this way. Is that almost cinnabar colored rocks? Very crumbly. You can see where all of these flinty stones came from that we're walking on. mushrooms in a place like this. I love these trees and plants with the twisty trunks and stems and roots. Wow, and there's some actual green. A little red bark to set it off. Just spilling down the mountainside. This looks a little bit different. Little touches of autumn here and there and some craggy rock. I'm going to be quiet now so you can do your thing. <laughs> a major turning point here for us. We have been coming up through uh, this very steep, narrow part of the canyon. I'm admiring here a very spectacular avalanche chute coming down the other side. But I am taking the pictures, shade from the light here, because we have come around a corner into the more open part of the canyon now. And way up there, way up there at the top, 
is Islip Saddle, where we started the last hike, where the trail comes to an end. You can actually see it from here. Of course, we're not going nearly that far. We're only trying to get up to the two mile marker where we turned around last time. So I'm not sure how close we are to actually to that, but we are at least now in the right part of the canyon. Okay, nice view here where the valley has broadened out rather nicely with trees all along the bottom, especially down in the creek bed. You have some trees that have turned for the for fall as opposed to the pines that are up on the sides mostly. Nice spot. We did make it back to the two mile mark. Unfortunately, Shelley forgot how to run the viewfinder camera, so no video. Which is a pity, because it was a special moment for us, making a connection between very different parts of the mountains. We have now walked a continuous tread from the world-famous Devil's Punch Bowl, right down on the desert floor, past the iconic Devil's Chair, up into the high country, to the tops of Mount Williamson and Islip, and over the top of Mount Islip, down into Crystal Lake and the San Gabriel River area. Not that far in miles, but quite a distance in our understanding of a special place. So what's that sign over there say? That sign over there. Uh, that uh, says Manzanita Trail, Vincent's Gap. Ah. I'm going to take that one, too. We've been to Vincent's Gap. Hmm? We've been to Vincent's Gap. Yes, we have. But we haven't been there from here. And on that note... <laughs>